Our guide is the Quran, our religion is Islam. Five noble pillars upholding what is virtuous. To make the testimony is the base of the faith and the fast and the prayer, the pilgrimage in charity. Allah, 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 Allah. I think I always say this before I stop my video, it's been a very very long time since we did the last video. I think it has been genuinely a very very long time, it's been more or less three weeks since we did the last video. But anyway, this video brings me bring some very very good news in this video, Alhamdulillah. The, the wonderful news we got yesterday I should say, Alhamdulillah, Thumma Alhamdulillah, our Zamzam water, a bash has arrived, Alhamdulillah. And from Monday, it's coming Monday, inshallah, we should be able to distribute some some water from Leicester and from our Rahman Mansi office, inshallah. How did it work? It's taken a very, very long time for it to get here, but it has actually got here. We've got 3,000 drums, and we shall be selling the drums, inshallah, for uh, 15 pounds each for a 10 litre drum, inshallah. 15 pounds each for a 10 litre drum. If you're in Leicester, you come to the Rahman Mansi office, inshallah. Um, if you are of Leicester, you can give us a call on our telephone number or you can email us and then we can um, deliver to you. Obviously, there will be an extra charge for delivery. How did we get it? Well, we worked with the Saudi authorities. Uh, we, like I said earlier in our earlier videos, we actually got the water tested as well here by 7 Trent over here as well. They have approved of it. We are not making any profit. One of the conditions was um, for giving them some was that you, you, you don't make no profit at all for that reason. We're getting it, we're literally sitting, giving it for cost to cost price, cost to cost price. Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, the Zamzam water is here, and Zamzam water is, is the most wonderful and the most amazing water. Uh, so, brothers and sisters, if you really need Zamzam, then come down to Rappermancy office, 56 Hartington Road, Leicester, and pick up, and not just say pick up because you might say it's free, it, buy your drum of Zamzam for £15 only, inshallah. There. Second piece of good news is. The Rahman Mercy calendars will be out very, very soon, inshallah. They've gone for printing. Next Wednesday, Thursday, inshallah, we shall be distributing Rahman calendars outside most of the masajids in Leicester. People outside Leicester, inshallah, certain cities like Bristol, Cardiff, London, uh, Bali, Jewsbury, and maybe other cities as well, we shall be distributing um, Rahman Mercy calendars, inshallah. So do look out for them. And this year, they are very, very good, I hope, anyway, inshallah, and they're much better than last year's. That is absolutely guaranteed. Last year's, um, it was a, shall we, shall we say, it was simplicity last year. This year, we've gone the extra mile to make the um, calendars much, much better, alhamdulillah. Um, as you can tell, the, the weather has gone extremely, extremely cold. The last few days have been biting cold, and the wind's been very, very cold, and alhamdulillah, good thing the snow's not out yet, but obviously there is pollution for snow, but Allah Ta'ala knows best. So, I did mention that when the weather gets really, really cold, what dua should we do? This is the great thing about Islam, and this is the great thing about religion uh, Allah that has given to us, that it's, it's unique. There's nothing in our religion that you cannot find. There's nothing in Islam where you say, oh, I haven't got this, and al Nabi hasn't told us that, and the Quran doesn't tell us this. We've got it all. We've got absolutely all. And here's a dua for when the weather is cold. I'll say it slowly, inshallah, it's la ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah, ma ashadda barda hadha al-yawm. Ma ashadda hadha barda hadha al-yawm. Allahumma ajirni min zam hariri jahannam. Allahumma ajirni min zam hariri jahannam. Now, this is a dua um, which we will, inshallah, be printing in the office or photocopying in the office very, very soon, inshallah. So if you're nearby, if you're local, then why not make it a dua you read morning and evening, inshallah. It will be very, very beneficial indeed. And this is also for the warm weather as well, inshallah. Um, hopefully when summer comes, then inshallah we'll let you know about the warm dua. But it's cold. So instead of saying it's so cold today, it's freezing today, why not do the dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It will, it will benefit us, inshallah, um, uh, immensely in this dunya and of course in the hereafter as well, inshallah. Academy. The Rahma Academy, mashallah. Basement is done. The ground floor is done. The first floor is done, and we're actually on the second floor now. By the end of de December, inshallah, ta'ala, we're looking to second to third floor. The great thing is the weather's been good so far, alhamdulillah. So we are able to actually do 
um, good work at the Rahman Academy, alhamdulillah. So make dua, inshallah, ta'ala. By Jan, like I said, by March, inshallah, I will intend that, inshallah, all eight, nine floors, inshallah, will be complete, inshallah. Ta'ala. So make dua, and then the interior work should also start. Um, the photos of the academy will be uploaded on Tuesday on our website, on Tuesday, inshallah. So do go to our, um, um, go for updates on Tuesday, inshallah. The latest updates of our images of our website will be on, inshallah. Ta'ala. Um, Christmas, it's round the corner. So what does that mean for us Muslims? Obviously we don't eat, but not to say Turkey become, is haram, Turkey is halal for us, but um, obviously people, uh, Christian people have the Turkey because, I don't know, it's just maybe a tradition of this, they like to have Turkey at Christmas time. Um, I think stick to chicken, it's much, much better, roasted if you want, however you want it, but I think stick to your normal, um, but if you feel like if it's cheap at this time of the year, do it with the intention, probably you can buy it cheap, that's why we will have it. Um, <coughs> otherwise, it's your choice, have whatever you want. But obviously Christmas is not for us, and that's what I think, as Muslims, it's important because when our kids go to school, and let's be honest, when we went to school, we used to sing Christmas carols. Um, I think well, some, of us, some of us did anyway. And then Santa Claus used to come out with a few presents, and we used to sing, you know, it's a bit of fun. So, and then the people think that this is the time when Isa al Islam was born and Jesus was born. So I think as parents, and as, think as adults, uh, we should educate our children what is actually Christmas. And what, is, what does Islam say regarding Christmas? What does Islam say about the life of Isa alayhi salatu salam? What does Islam say about Maryam alayhi salam? What does Islam say about Zakaria alayhi salam? It's very important to give our children the right education because as we were growing up, you know, what the facilities we have in our madaris today, the kidams we have in our madaris today, the young ulama we have today, the young alimas we have today, they can explain it. Not, and this is no disrespect to our ustad we had in the, uh, before. They were great and Allah Ta'ala give them jizah khair and the ones who are living, may Allah Ta'ala give them bulk in their life and the ones who have passed away, may Allah Ta'ala give, make their graves a garden of paradise, inshallah Ta'ala. But you know, we can, as parents, as ustads, it's our duty to, to let our kids know this, the Islam, what it says about Christmas, what Islam says about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. So it's very, very important indeed. So that's one thing I would say, parents, ustads, mu'allims, mu'allimat, let our t generation know the truth about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. And on Christmas Day, believe it or not, Rahman Mansi has its pledge day uh, on Radio Ehsan in Leicester. We've got a Radio Ehsan running, which is on 87.7 FM. It's been started, it started from, I think, the 3rd of, or for the 4th of December, and it's going to go, I think, to the first week of January, inshallah ta'ala. And it's been a very successful uh, radio session. It's been run by Mona Najib Sab. It's been run, um, the building next door to Darul Um Leicester, and doing an absolutely wonderful, wonderful job. So, Christmas Day special, or should I say, to the 25th of December special, Rahmah Mercy Pledge Day, starting after Zohar Ibn say, Mawlana, please, we've given all the money we can, I know you have, Allah reward you for giving whatever you've given, uh, every penny, every pound, would, inshallah, Allah will multiply on the day of Qiyam and give it to you in thousands and millions, inshallah, what we're saying, um, we're almost there, we've, we've hit nearly 600,000 pounds, we're around four to 500,000 pounds, um, just, just short, so we're asking you to give whatever you can. We're not asking for huge amounts, be it five pounds, be it ten pounds, whatever you can give. But it's just not just going to be a boring appeal on, on, on the 25th of December. It's going to be a very exciting one, each other. We're going to try to make it exciting, fun uh, activities, competitions, and loads of food and desserts and puddings and pies as well. So make sure you switch on to 87.7 FM Radio XM, inshallah, Allah. On the 25th of December, as the COVID is called Christmas Day, and listen to our prayer day starting after the Salah, well, inshallah, right away till midnight, inshallah. So make sure you stay tuned. Make dua for us, inshallah. The, the new Islamic year has started as well. Uh, 1433 Muharram started as well. Let's make Islamic resolutions, inshallah. Allah, 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 make this year of ours, 1433, the best year of our life, inshallah. Allah, Allah may bring us closer to Him and to closer to Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And when we die, may Allah, Allah give all of us, all of us, all of us, Khatima bin al Brothers and sisters, remember us in your duas. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make uh, our life a most wonderful, wonderful life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah, Allahu Allah.